No, no, don't tell me I have to do all this again. Woo! Alright, alright, I think I have found the absolute max peak that these MacBook Pros can burst all cores CPU only, and I will tell you later. So if you want to upgrade from Windows Home to Windows Pro or just get insanely cheap Windows and Office 2016 keys, head on down to 0 and 9. Links are in the description and I even have a discount code for you and they also have cheap gaming keys too. So yes, Apple have released a new patch to fix the throttling etc. And it does work, it actually does work. I'll show you the render time differences. Now Apple said it was missing some key or some crap. To be perfectly frank, I think some of the Apple engineers must be missing the chromosome. So yesterday when I done my gaming review, I actually said I noticed that the battery was draining and there was power limiting throttling. So I could not see this on Mac OS because I didn't have the Intel Extreme tuning utility. But I could clearly see this on Windows, so I thought I've got to investigate this. And I will go back to my gaming video later because it is important. And then there was a post on Reddit about a guy that says, you know, it's probably the VRMs. And I think I'm probably leaning towards that because I can maintain over 3 gigahertz all core burst with the CPU at 100% now. Now, I wasn't able to do this before Volta got an update because you can only put 45 watts. Now I can put more than 45 watts so I can actually test at higher clock speed so let's first look at the render times there you go boom like within seconds of the aero 15 now this macbook pro is and to be fair that's using a 2.2 gigahertz i7 but that's not making a difference because they probably would boost the same anyway the difference is the aero was using single channel memory but like i already demonstrated it wouldn't throttle when you turned off the boost so it could maintain its clock speed but now it can maintain a much higher clock speed with this patch so it renders really fast Hardware encoding makes no difference because it wasn't throttling anyways, basically using the QuickSync encoder. So it doesn't use that much wattage. All right, so what we have here is Prime 95. <coughs> Prime 95 non-AVX, sorry about that. Uh, fans are flat stick. We have 45 watts, turbo boost is on. So let's run this. You have to use 26.6. Do not use the latest Prime 95 because it has AVX. This has no AVX. So this is 100% pegging the cores and as you can see there it boosted up to four no three gigahertz because it's limited to 45 watts at the moment okay so if i left it like stock it would boost even higher but i want to see what the limit is so i'm just going to increase the wattage bit by bit until we reach the limit so as you can see here 3.2 getting up to 80 degrees you know I think it probably could maintain 3.2. We'll see the limit in a minute. You know, 80 degrees, it's not shooting up. Just notice that. And you can see the package, how many watts it's using. It's just up at top where it says power. Just keep an eye on that. It's sort of obscured, but you can actually see how many watts the CPU is actually using. So it's using 45 now because that's what I've limited it, limited it to. Sorry. And... Um, you can see 85, it's not getting into the 90s. It will sustain 3.2. So what we want to do is start increasing the wattage and that will put more pressure on the VRMs. It's using more power and this is CPU only. If you introduce GPU, these uh, this boost speed, you won't be able to maintain that. You won't get 3.2 when you introduce a bit of um, GPU voltage or GPU power. So let's increase that to 50 watts now. So I would say 3.2 it can maintain. It's not even getting into the 90s. Increase that to 50 watts. And let's see if it reflects it up the top there on the power draw. Yes, we are indeed putting 50 watts in there. You can see I've increased it. It's gone to 3.3 now. Now to keep an eye on the temperature. So the temperature has creeped up but it's not critical, but you can see 3.2 is probably the best place. It's in the 90s, but just in the low 90s or high 80s, that's probably the best bet. Now I've increased it to 55 watts and you can see it goes up to 3.4, but look at the temperature. It's going to hit a cliff now for sure because that temperature ceiling, 
but you can see it can boom there you go it hits the ceiling there 55 watts or 100 degrees it hit the 100 100 degree barrier there so you can see it can maintain 3.2 3.3 started to get into the 90s, like into the mid-90s. So I'd say 3.2 is the limit, um, maybe 3.3, but definitely not more than that. And the XPS 15, that's around the same. A XPS 15 will do all-core burst around 3.3. If you undervolt it, it will do around 3.6. So the CPU is not the problem. With the i9, it's not going to be any difference because that's the limit of this thermal design the i9 will not boost any higher and be able to maintain a higher clock speed. But there you go, around 3.2 is the answer there. It's not the CPU throttling, it probably is the VRM. So at the end of the day, the CPU will not throttle under 100% load. It will maintain over 3 gigahertz. I'll go back to gaming in a minute. I still think there's around 60, 65 watt limit to that VRM though. All right, so going back to the gaming now. When I was gaming and I let the CPU use whatever power it wanted, it would thermal throttle. It would actually reduce the clock on the GPU. Now, when I reduced the wattage the CPU could have down to 20 watts, which would be 35 watts of the GPU plus 20 watts of the CPU, looking at 55 watts there. I could get up to 25 watts and then it would start throttling. That would be 60 watts. So now I'm actually leaning towards it being the VRMs. You can't conclusively prove this, but it looks that way because as soon as I pumped in around 60 watts, that's when the throttling was occurring. It didn't seem to be the temperature. And as you've seen on the Prime 95 test, it can maintain probably 3.2 gigahertz. So anyway, thanks guys for watching. <laughs> I've probably got two more videos on this coming out. Uh, sorry, I don't mean to mack you all out here, but um, I will have the full review and I'll have compared to the XPS 15 era and that. I'll update that video too. So make sure you subscribe to see all that. I'll catch you in the next one. Tally ho.